What's up sports fans, welcome to V Sports Insider. Today we're gonna talk about Italian boxing on once upon a time boxing powerhouse. Today, not a powerhouse at all. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit. And we're gonna present a top three Italian prospects to look for in 2021. So stay tuned. So as we all know the boxing history is filled with Italians, all time greats such as Nino Benvenuti, Duilio Loi, a lot of Italian boxers from Italy, a lot of Italian American boxers such as Willie Pep, Rocky Marciano, pretty much countless others. So the natural question we have right now is where are all of those guys today? Where are all of the Italian fighters, the Italian American fighters? If you look at the list of world champions, there is not a single Italian. And in fact, the last Italian to have held the world championship was Giovanni De Carolis, and that was in 2016, in January 2016, when he defeated Vincent Fagenbutz in Germany by TKO 11. And yes, that's the same Fagenbutz that Caleb Plant recently fought. Just tells you about the resume of Caleb Plant. I'm not gonna comment on that in this video, but anyway, Giovanni De Carolis became world champion at that time, won the WBA World Championship. Before having that championship demoted down to WBA regular championship after his title defense and draw against Tyron Soige, the Chudino versus George Gross fight was then elevated to the WBA Super Championship and therefore the brief reign of Giovanni De Carolis was over. It was definitely over and the rematch against Tyron Soige where he was defeated, stopped in the final round and ultimately Tyron Saiga would lose that title to Rocky Fielding, Rocky Fielding would lose that title to Canelo Alvarez and Canelo Alvarez just recently unified those two belts by defeating a guy who beat George Gross, so by defeating Callum Smith and becoming the undisputed WBA champion at super middleweight but also the unified WBA, WBC, lineal ring magazine, pretty much everything in the super middleweight division. But back to the Italian fighters, the last Italian that challenged for the world title was Carmine Tomassoni, a featherweight who challenged Oscar Valdez for the WBO featherweight title February the 2nd, 2019. Oscar Valdez won that fight by TKO7, but Carmine Tomassoni was remembered for one interesting thing. He proposed his girlfriend live on TV inside the ring after that fight. It was televised live by ESPN. So a very interesting detail, but since Carmine Tomassoni, there has been no Italian fighters even challenging for the world title. So now the question is, are there any good Italian fighters in boxing right now? And who are the names to look for? So there are a few Italian fighters that hold the European championships at this point in time across different weight classes, but we're gonna leave them for one of the next videos. We're gonna focus on the Italian prospects, the up and coming young fighters coming out of Italy, and we have singled out the top three Italian prospects to look for in 2021. So number one, Michael Magnesi, fighter in the super featherweight division and he is the IBO world super featherweight champion. So depends on whether or not you recognize the IBO as a legitimate world governing body, he might be a world champion. In 2020 he defeated Braylor Terran, not a great fighter, but then he fought for the IBO world title defeating an African fighter Patrick Kingamazi by KO5 and Michael Magnesi is as of right now a top 20 fighter in the super featherweight division and he was rated by the WBA if I remember correctly and by the WBC as well and ever since he won his IBO title he's not rated anymore so technically he's a world champion he, he has the same world championship that 
Jaron Ennis failed to win against one here than recently, so technically he is the best rated Italian fighter at the moment, he's technically a world champion holding the IBO belt, it's not a highly regarded belt, but it might open certain opportunities to Michael Magnesi to fight for one of the four belts perhaps in the super featherweight division in the near future. The second fighter is Atinosa Oliha, an undefeated Italian prospect, 22 years old, 13-0 with 5 knockouts. He had a very successful year of 2020, becoming the Italian champion, defeating Carlo De Novellis by unanimous decision, defended that title against Andrea Roncon and had a stay busy fight against Francesco Lezzi so he's not a big puncher he's a good fighter on the outside and, and he's scheduled to defend his Italian title once again on March 5th in Italy against Fabio Mastromarino and the year of 2021 should be a breakthrough year for Olia to have a significant fight maybe fight for the European Championship or one of the international or intercontinentals belt by one of the big for sanctioning bodies either way of an Italian prospect to look for this year at Tinosa Oliha. And the third prospect is Guido Vianello, a heavyweight prospect, an Italian Olympian. He has a score of 7 wins out of 8 fights with 1 draw, 7 knockouts, age 26. He's a pretty tall guy, same as Anthony Joshua, 6'6", with a big reach of 201 centimeters. Heading out of Rome, Italy, fighting for top rank. And he had a very good start of his career, 7 victories in 7 fights. But then he drew in a fight that he should have won. It was a majority draw against Kinsley Ibe, a guy with a record of 5-1. and one. So red flag early in the career of Guido Vianello, but he's, he's still got time on his side. And therefore ranks among the top 3 prospects to look for in 2021. So these were the top 3 Italian prospects in our opinion, tell us what you think, tell us if you know a good up and coming Italian fighter that we didn't mention here, and with that we'll catch you on the next one, this was a report by V Sports Insider.